Hey folks, Glenn here, and I've got a really, really quick and a pretty cool technique to show you now, how you can change the lighting in your pictures. And I'm gonna use this one that you see in front of you now. Now, you may recognize this picture. This is one that I've done a tutorial on before where I showed how you can do this barrel rifling here, this gun rifling effect. Now, you'll find that on my YouTube page, but for this technique, I wanna show you how you can change the lighting. So, this was the end picture but before we finished, the picture was actually like this. So our model here, Glenn, he was photographed in the studio and I didn't really know what I was gonna do with the picture. It's one of those rare circumstances where I thought, I'll just do the shots and kind of think about what I'll do with the background afterwards. Whereas normally I'll have an idea of what the background's gonna be before I even go into the photo shoot. So I'm photographing Glenn in the studio and the way I've lit him doesn't really fit the scene that he's now going into because you can see that he's got light equal in equal amounts on both sides of him. And that's because I had a strip light on the left and on the right and a, a, a bit of light in the front as well. So to get Glenn to fit into this scene now, this kind of typical James Bond kind of gun barrel, I need it to be darker on the left hand side because you can see the right hand side of the wall here is quite bright and over on the left hand side it's quite dark and in shadow. So, now Photoshop being Photoshop, there are so many ways we can do that. I could spend quite a bit of time dodging and burning down the left hand side to darken it. I could use curves, I could use a multitude of different ways, but what I wanna show you now is a really, really quick and a cool way to do it in no time at all. And we're gonna do it by using layer styles. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the layer that contains Glenn, our model here. And you can see that if I turn the layer mask off, this was the original background he was photographed against, just in a studio with a white background. But he's been kind of cut out of that and put into this new scene. So to change the lighting, I'm gonna use a layer style, like I said, and we can go to that a number of different ways. I can either come down to the bottom and choose the FX icon here, and we're gonna use a gradient overlay, or where it says model on that layer here containing Glenn, if I just double click on that, just to the right hand side of the word model, it also brings up the layer style dialog box. And all I'm going to choose is gradient overlay. And you can see straight away we get this gradient going onto Glenn where it's light on the right hand side and going dark on the left hand side. And that's because we have a black to white gradient here. We can see the left hand side is black and the right hand side is white. So what I can also do within this gradient overlay dialog box is change the direction of that light source. So here we have a disc, it's called angle. At the moment it's set to 90 degrees, but I'm gonna drag it down to the right hand side where it says zero now. So basically what I'm telling Photoshop to do is have the light hand side coming from the right. So that if you imagine now we've got a light source over here, it's shining across just like the bright part of this wall is. So the side nearest to this bright part is gonna be brighter and the side over here is gonna be darker. So that's pretty cool. But we can also just change it to whatever angle we want by playing around with it in here. So I'll put it maybe somewhere around about there's looking good. Now what's also good about this is I can take my cursor and place it within our model area here, Glenn, and I can click and drag left or right to move the gradient so I can see it in real time how I want it to be. So we'll go for something like that. So the left hand side is gonna be considerably darker than the right. Something like that is pretty good. Now obviously we wanna see what it's like on our actual model himself, so you can see all the detail. So all we need to do now is change the blend mode. And we do that within here as well, where it says normal, we've got this drop down box and we've got a load of different options. One of them is overlay. And you can see straight away now we see our model and if I just turn that on and off, we can see how we've actually got the lighting, it's been changed, where it's brighter on the right hand side and going darker gradually over to the left hand side, and that's great. But also, while we're looking at it in real time, I can then again just get my cursor, click and drag left and right to position how I want this light source to be. So I'm gonna go for something like, <clears throat> excuse me, something like that, that'll be good. You gotta be careful when using the overlay blend mode because it does tend to saturate the colors and you can see that in his face here. So I might just back it off just a little bit. Of course we could use soft light or whatever, but that's not as punchy and I need this to be quite a, a punchy effect. It really needs to darken it down quite a lot. So I'll stick with overlay <clears throat> and then we'll just click okay. So now you can see by turning it on and off, he's in this tunnel now, it's kind of 
getting to the point where it's, it's almost gonna be matching in with the seam, where the light hand side on the right and the dark hand side on the left. Now the great thing is here as well, because this is a layer style, what I can do is where it says FX, or actually where it says effects and gradient overlay here, if I right click on this, it brings up this drop down menu and I'll use create layer at the very, very bottom there. So what that does is it puts this gradient overlay up onto its own layer. And what I like about that is now, if I use that layer, maybe if I wanted just a little bit more light on his face, you know, I like it on his clothing, but not on his face. I wanna brighten up just this side of his face here. I could just quite simply add a layer mask and I can get a black brush and just paint it away just a little bit on that side of his face there. So now we'll turn that layer on and off, or that layer mask on and off, we can see that I've just brightened up that side of his face just a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. Simple way of just changing the lighting within your pictures using layer styles. So hope that's handy. I shall see you next time.